my business is called Heart Zone is because I believe that I'm wanting to create a leadership where I define it as the place where the head and the heart meet, and that's the zone. And I know a lot of leaders that lead from their head, and they have a lot of systems, they have a lot of ways of doing things, and that's good and well. However, there's no heart in it. There's no um, attention to people. There's no, let me sit and listen to you and find out what you're really up to. These tend to be the people that are the, the drivers, and they're not really interested in how you're feeling or what you're getting out of the process. They're truly actually often not interested in success uh, in the way we've just defined it. Then you have the leaders that are totally, you know, they're soft, they're all in their heart, you know, let's, it's such a wonderful day, are you feeling good? Let's not ruffle any feathers. Um, let's make sure everybody gets along. And that's ineffective leadership as well because those are the people who often don't have a system, um, they're, not, they're not productive, and people may be feeling great, but they're not creating any success. The heart zone is a place where your head and your heart meet, and it's a leader that's able to make challenging decisions, have clear systems, but also lead from a place of passion and integrity and be present to the humanity that lives within their organization. So it's your ability to do, do the, both, the both things. I think for myself, where I've learned to create that environment is one is, is again, I, you know, I'll always go back to those principles that guide me, those guiding principles, but again, reminding myself that the how is not really up to me. And I know it sounds cliche, but the how really isn't up to me because if I create an environment where we're going after a target, and I am clear that I don't have the only how in this establishment, I create this space for creativity. I create this space where people are able to come to me and say, I have an idea, I have a new how. And I'll be able to go, well, let's talk about that. And go, wow, I did not think about that. Let's establish that. And someone else will say, you know what, I've come up with a new how, a new way of doing this. Absolutely, well, let's talk about that. So there's, 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 there's that opening and awareness that I don't have all the answers. And if I'm a true leader and I'm, I'm co-creating leaders, leaders, it's really knowing that my leaders are going to come up with, with hows and ways of doing things that may be beyond the scope of my imagination. That's why we're together. Um, so I think that that's one of the key things is that I don't have all the answers, therefore I create the, an environment where people are willing to contribute. Um, and I think, I think that is key when you're wanting to create that, that culture, that environment where people are, are, are moving forward.